Welcome to our lecture online. Another very neat thing we can do with uh, the dot product and the cross product is answering questions such as these. Let's say you're given three vectors as defined, A, B, and C. Do they all lie on the same plane? Well, the way we can figure that out is to realize that if A is in the same plane as B and C, then the dot product between A and the cross product of B and C must equal zero, because the way you think about it this way. If you take a, dot, a cross product between two vectors, you get a third vector that's perpendicular to the plane in which the first two vectors lie. So A cross B will give you a perpendicular vector C. And then if you dot that vector, the result of that, with A, and A is in the same plane as B and C, then the angle between the cross product and the third vector A is 90 degrees. And by definition, the dot product is, of course, the magnitudes of the two times the cosine of the angle between them, and if the angle between them is 90 degrees, the cosine of 90 is zero, then you get this to be equal to zero. All right, so that means we're first going to take the cross product of B and C and dot it, or multiply via the dot product with A. And again, it doesn't matter what the order is. You could go A cross B dotted with C, or A cross C dotted with B, all that will give you the same result. You get zero if all three vectors lie on the same plane. So it doesn't matter which order you do this in. So let's go ahead and do B cross C and see what we get. So B cross C is equal to the determinant of I, J, and K. The components of the first vector here, which is B, that would be 3, 0, negative 2, and the component of C, which is 5, negative 4, and 0. So this becomes equal to I times 0 times 0 minus minus 2 times negative 4. That's a positive 8. Multiply by negative is a negative 8. And matter of fact, you know what? Just so you can follow me a little bit better, let me write down both results. So we have I times 0 times 0, which is 0, and minus 8, like this. Minus J times 3 times 0 is 0, and a negative 2 times a 5 is negative 10, but since we're subtracting it, that becomes a positive 10. Plus K times 3 times a negative 4, that's a negative 12, minus 0 times 5 minus 0, and that gives you the cross product. Let's simplify it a little bit. So this is equal to minus 8 in the i direction, minus 10 in the j direction, and minus 12 in the k direction. So this is b cross c. Now let's find the dot product of a and b cross c. So a dotted with b cross c will give us a scalar quantity. Let's see if that scalar quantity is equal to 0. So the first component of A, multiply times the first component of B cross C, plus the second component of A, multiply times the second component of B cross C, plus the third component of A, multiply times the third component of B cross C. And so this is equal to minus 8, uh, that would be plus 20, and a minus 12, and sure enough, that equals zero, so therefore we can say that all three vectors lie in the same plane. And that's how it's done. And by direction of the director of this organization, I was told to try a different combination to show you that it does indeed work. So let's go ahead and do A cross B instead. A cross B is equal to I, J, K. The components of A, which is 1 and negative 2 and 1, and the components of B, which is 3, 0, and negative 2. So let's see what that equals. So it's I times, uh, let's see, minus 2 times negative 2, that's 4, minus 0, then you multiply those two together, minus J times, 1 times the negative 2 is negative 2, a 1 times 3, subtract, negative 3, plus K, we get 1 times 0, which is 0, minus a negative 2 times six, uh, 3, that's a negative 6. Negative becomes positive 6, like this. So this becomes 4 in the i direction, 
that's a minus 5 times the negative, that's plus 5 in the j direction, and that gives me plus 6 in the k direction. So now this is what we called a cross b, and now we're going to do the dot product of c with a cross b. And again, it doesn't matter if it's c dot a cross b or a cross b dot c, you get the very same result. So this is going to be equal to the first component of c, which is 5, times the first component of our cross product, which is 4, plus the second component of c, which is minus 4, the second component here, which is 5, plus the third component, 0, times the third component here, which is 6. And notice that this is going to be a plus 20, minus 20, plus 0, which is equal to 0. And you can see it really doesn't matter which order you put the vectors in. You will always get the same result if, of course, you don't make a small mistake somewhere, which is easily done with this kind of thing. So be careful. And that's how it's done. <laughs> I'm out of board space. <laughs> Next.